Assalamualaikum. This is Talk to Farina Najam from the Vienna of Arts and Social Sciences, University of Education, Lahore. The course title is Portrait Painting. Dear students, our topic is about silhouettes stage. First of all, what is silhouette? Silhouette is the image of a person, animal, object or scene represented as a solid shape of a single color. Usually black with its edges matching the outline of the subject. The interior of a silhouette is featureless and the silhouette is usually presented on a light background, usually white. Or none at all. The silhouette differs from an outline which depicts the edge of an object in a linear form. While a silhouette appears as a solid shape, silhouette images may be created in any visual artistic media but were first used to describe pieces of cut paper which were then stuck to a baking in a contrasting color and often framed. Cutting portraits generally in profile from black card became popular in the mid 18th century. Though the term silhouette was seldom used until the early decades of the 19th century and the tradition has continued under this name into the 21st century. They represented a cheap but effective alternative to the portrait miniature and skilled speci specialist artists could cut a high quality bust portrait, by far the most common style, in a matter of minutes, working purely by eye. Other artists, especially from about 1790, drew an outline on paper, then painted it in, which could be equally quick. From its original graphic meaning. The term silhouette has been extended to describe the sight or representation of a person, object or scene that is backlit and appears dark against a lighter background. Anything that appears this way, for example, a figure standing backlit in a doorway may be described as in silhouette because the silhouette emphasizes the outline the word has also been used in the fields in the fields of fashion and fitness to describe the shapes of a person body or the shape created by wearing clothing of a particular style or period Silhouette in history. Silhouette profile portraiture was a popular way to recreate an image of oneself or loved one before the invention and common use of photography in the mid 1800s. During the years of 1500s and 18. 1860, professional artists would either paint or cut profiles using paints or scissors. The Pliny, the Elders, ancient Roman descriptions. The world reads that portraiture may have started as profile images. As the maiden debated, captures her love image before he departs for war.
mid 1700s although the common names are profile shade shadow portrait or likeness the familiar word silhouette is taken from the french finance minister athen de silhouette in the mid 1700s who was he made to cut profiles in his spare time he was disliked by those who were affected by his tax plans chopping tax money from the rich and reducing cost expenditures in the french government needless to say he was not well liked some writers explain the phrase a la silhouette in the manner of silhouette was applied to things which were cheap including cheaply made portrait portraits cost far less than the traditional extravagant means lavish painted portraits and sculptures anything a la silhouette was a reduction to the simplest form George Washington shadow portrait is shown here although he was a man who did afford his expensive painted painted portraits profiles have a long romantic history including supposedly as a hobby by Catherine de Medici 1500s as an ad to judging personality by the John Lavater late 1700s as love tokens by countless soldiers in war time and posted in homes to remember family members for hundreds of years profile portraits shot the images of their sitters when painted portraits were just too expensive or unable to be produced profiles can be painted on glass plaster or paper or cut out of paper or even cloth or cut out of paper or even cloth They truly are a microcosm of the society in which they reside, showing society views on social status and economics, travel habits, family values and inheritance, fashion, and other factors which move the details of everyday life in every decade. Profile portraits serve an additional functions. They connected the 1700s sitter to his Greek Roman ancestors. Those long gone faults shone on the faces of Quine. Quine early 1800s one of the iconic silhouette images in the portrait believed to be jane austen seen at left writing her romantic stories in the late 18th and early 19th centuries captivating hearts and spirit for hundreds of years the The decadent Regency period is specially remembered for silhouette portraits, painting or cutting profiles by hand may have been a skill, but when machines for tracing a client face were developed, this technology became the range for for inexpensive profile artist. they could impress their clients with the latest device whether the machine cast a client shadow on the wall or traced the face shape the late 1700s and early 1800s were filled with 
artist looking to gain clientele and remove clientele from their artist rivals. With the heavy competition for portraits, even the name of the portraiture began the change. From its origin of shadow portraits, the common name to the newly exotic name of profile portraits, silhouettes. Portraiture continued to be popular with heavy competition amongst the artists, with few inexpensive opportunities for personal images. Portrait artists became more widespread widespread temporary rooms in hotel traveling artist or permanent studio there were all types of portrait artist some traveled from rural town to rural town finding their clientele in their own houses some portraitists frequented the resort towns in the high seasons some artists claim the highest social status of the artisan class due to their work with the nobility and royalty. Portraiture Portra Portraiture could be a poor artist skill or a rich artist skill. Perhaps the art was not in the hands but in the personality. Photography enters. Photography was developed in 1829 and improved steadily and enthusiastically. When portrait photography became possible around 1840, silhouette portrait was on a downhill slide. From today, painting is dead, exclaimed Paul Delaroche, 1839. Photographic portraits varied widely in price up to the tremendous fee of $10. Even when average prices of a shirt were less than $1, but the improvements in photographic processes through the decade of the 1800s meant that photography was becoming the new portrait form. Silhouette was not really dead when photography was invented. Many eminent citizens enjoyed their own portraits created in profile. One of the most well-loved set of work was created by French-born Auguste Edouard, a man whose ego seemed as large as his talent. Edouard first began his work in the late 1830 after becoming frustrated by the lack of artistry of machine. Machine made silhouettes, so he picked up scissors to try his own hand at scissor cutting silhouette portraits. Proclaiming his own talent, he set on a travel tour that included his native France, Britain, and then the United States. His tales and Travels included the most powerful people on the continents. Late 1800s By 1880, portraiture was quite affordable to the average person. In the excitement of the new medium of photography, silhouette slid away. It stayed for a while in rural areas, harvest festivals, amusement resorts, but the decline of silhouettes popularity had already begun as a 
as a mainstay of daily portraiture. A traditional silhouette portrait of the late 18th century. Another work. Nineteen twenty. In the nineteen twenties, there seemed to be a surgeons in silhouette, interest, and also portraiture. No longer are discarded art that was serpa. was surpassed by fashionable gadgets silhouettes was were appreciated once again possibly the renewed interest were part of the arts and crafts movement at any rate silhouettes gained some fans thanks to some special artist Modern day, a girl who cuts up. Fortunately, in the twentieth century, a few people, a few people look past the silhouettes in attics and museums, and continued the art form as art, and also as amusement. And that's what you discover at Silhouettes by Hand. An artisan reminder of history of an artisan reminder of history of romance of slower living and as reminders of family. Some examples of silhouettes by hand. <laughs>